Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the GE washer selector knob. It's going to be a very easy repair and it's only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new selector knob. The selector knob is located on the console and it's what you use to make your selections. The main reason you'll be changing it out is if it's lost or damaged. There's two selector knobs on the control panel. They're both changed out the same way. To get the selector knob off, all you have to do is lift up on it so it comes off the shaft. Once you have it off, you want to turn it over and make sure that the little metal spring clip is inside the knob. If it's stuck on the shaft, you may have to use a small flathead screwdriver to help get it off. Once you have the knob off the shaft, you can pull it off the washer. Here's the old selector knob next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. To put the new selector knob on, you want to make sure that you match up the D-shape on the shaft with the D-shape of the knob. And then you can turn it over and push it on. Once you have the selector knob on, you can plug the washer back in and take it for a first spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.